Welcome to Mallory Park in the heart of Leicestershire. It's the final round of the championship. This is Thundersport GB. <laughs> Superbikes already have a champion in this one, and it's this man, Lee Reeverly, number 77. He wrapped it up for last round at Cadwell Park. And second on the grid there, number six, Nick Williamson. Nick comes into this weekend third in the championship, still with a possibility of beating Richard Gloves, who's next to him here. He is on the grid, number 13 on the SRAD Suzuki. This class, remember, 754 cylinder. Uh, bikes from the 80s and 90s competing against 1000cc twins. And fourth on the grid, the number 18 Ducati 860 of John Dieterman. Second row, keep an eye out for Craig Jeff, number 16, who got his first win at Cadwell uh, just a couple of weekends ago. Next year in Thundersport GB, uh, confirmation that there will also be a Golden Era Super Sport class, which should be uh, great fun to watch. Of course, you think of what you can pick up uh, mid to late 90s uh, 600s for these days. Um, it's a cheap way of going racing, but once again, as ever, as we've seen so many times this year, as the lights go out, Richard Blunt really gets to grips with the Suzuki and gets off to the best start, but as they go sweeping around this long right-hander, the grunt and speed of the Aprilia Mille of Lee Reevely, the champion, has taken charge. Oh, and there's a problem there for number 62. That's Jason Dixon on uh, the Suzuki S-Rad. You can see the traditional old Suzuki colors there and just rejoining. Um, he might just have to give up a couple of places there. There's Dieterman going around the outside of Craig Jeff. A regular Thundersport rider there, the sort of blancmange coloured Kawasaki, that's Phil Page, number 94 on the ZX7R, just ahead of Dixon. And then that's number five, Mick Everett. Nice to see Mick out there. Mick, a, a usual runner in the, uh, the street fighter class of Thundersport GB, but he comes into this class this weekend. Rumours have it there's a number of different riders coming into the Golden Era Superbikes for 2013. Also, uh, Stu Wilson, a rider that certainly I can remember from the uh, the early noughties in the Super Stock class at British Championship level, is coming back to race uh, next year. And rumours that he may well be in this class. It'd be nice to have Stu back. There is number 62, Dixon, ahead of Phil Page, number 94. And 77, this is really has been the man to beat. Lee Reevely. At the start of the season, of course, he was scrapping it out with Keith Smith, or Mr. Potato Headed, you might know him as, but unfortunately Keith uh, had an accident. I have spotted Keith, he's out on pit lane watching the race, uh, limping, can't really get much use of his arms either, so no sign of him coming back to racing for a, a good six or seven months as yet, but we wish him all the best. And there is uh, once more John Dieterman on the 860 to Catty chasing down uh, the leaders of this race. Lee Reevely it is that leads, number 77 from Nick Williamson, number six. And then it's Richard Blunt in third and Craig Jeff in fourth. Further back, uh, we also have Andrew Duncan in ninth place ahead of Ryan Dovey and Andrew Saunders. As they come into Shaw's hairpin now, there is Richard Blunt. Realistically speaking, he only has to finish these races and he will be guaranteed as uh, the runner-up in the 2012 Championship ahead of Nick Williamson, who's ahead of him on circuit on the Honda SP1. Wearing the 666 leathers there is the uh, 860 Ducati of John Dieterman. And there is the SRAD Suzuki 750 of Richard Blunt. Of course, the Suzuki, when it was introduced into and motorcycle racing was uh, a real hit, if you can remember, back to the days of the British Superbike Championship in 2000, when Neil Hodgson on the Ducati uh, was scrapping it out with Chris Walker on the Suzuki. Great days, great memories. And that is 
pretty much what Fun Sport GP are trying to replicate here. You've even got the old days of Foggy versus Russell, uh, Scott Russell, Ducati versus Kawasaki. So far this year, it seems that the Aprilia Mille has been the bike of choice. It is one more races than any other, but you just never know who might come into this championship next year and have a good go at it. I'm sure Lee Reevely will be back to defend his title, having won four with Thundersport already. There is number 65, Brian Dovey. Brian out there on the Honda 900. But further back, this scrap for second, realistically, is the only fight that we have on circuit at the moment. Lee Reevely away with it at the front. Um, an unassailable lead in the points that he won the championship. He was one of the first Thundersport champions of this year. Now they break into Shaw's hairpin. The defensive line there for the Honda SP1. The RBM optical Honda of Nick Williamson ahead of the Dave Blunt Racing Suzuki of Richard Blunt. And then there is the plain white Ducati of John Deaton and just trying all he can really to keep up with these guys and give himself a chance of a, a possible podium. There is number five, Mick Everett managed to find himself a Suzuki 750 to go racing and as I mentioned at the start of this race it is a good way of coming racing uh, for not a lot of money motorcycle racing is an expensive game when you start chucking uh, engines tires fuel into a, a decent championship from any level really but along with the Thundersport 500 class uh, predominantly for Honda CB 500s and now this class you just have to simply look through um, the free ads and find how cheap these bikes are these days from the 90s and the early 2000s and it is a cheap way of going racing and uh, well almost out breaking himself there having a look around the outside that is Craig Jeff fresh from his first ever victory at Thundersport GB trying to get himself on the podium in the closing stages of this golden era superbikes race here at Mallory Park at the moment it's still Williamson but the last lap flag is out how long can Williamson hold on to it for? He's been defending second place for the majority of this race now. But Richard Blunt has got a good entry into Gerrard's. He'll be slightly down on top end power as we just uh, quickly go up the road and we see Lee Reevely, number 77, uh, getting frustrated trying to lap Brian Dovey, but he's got a pretty decent lead of almost six seconds. It's that fight in the background for second that we'll have to keep an eye on. Lee Reevely around the outside of Brian Dovey, and he'll just cruise his way into the chicane at the bus stop, and will no doubt become winner. But who is going to take second place in this one? Lee Reevely, the champion, comes across the line and takes another win this season. Let's have a look a bit further back and see who's got second place. It's looking like it's going to be Richard Blunt. He has done it on the final lap ahead of Nick Williamson. And Craig Jeff will have to settle for four. And that does it for Richard. He's confirmed second in the championship. Nick Williamson confirmed third in the championship. And there are the top three in order. Lee Reevely in the middle, Blunt on the left, and Nick Williamson on the right. Confirmation then of the Golden Era Superbike standings at 2012. Reevely the champion ahead of Blunt, Williamson, and Dixon. Third position goes to Nick Williamson in the Golden Era Superbikes. That was tough competition with second place. Yeah, it's a really good race. Uh, made a mistake on the last lap, but uh, Richard was there behind me all race, and Craig was there as well. Just really good close racing. Um, yeah, but I'm really happy with third place. Second would have been nicer, but third was brilliant. It was a good race. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and be back for some more next year. So. Well done. Any sponsors you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, thank Adrian at RBM Industrial for supplying the bike and lots of help. Uh, Crescent Suzuki um, for all their help with the setup and various bits and pieces. Uh, and most of all, my wife and children, uh, Kathy, uh, Georgia and Sophie. And second position in the Golden Era Superbikes goes to Richard Blunt. Yeah, it was a close fought battle, but uh, good fun. Um, but yeah, he just had so much drive coming out of the corners, it's uh, really hard to get my bike screaming without uh, spitting myself off. But no, real good fun, nice and close, just I like it, so excellent. Any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, massive thanks to uh, my dad for helping us out for this weekend. Equire Motorcycles, uh, DB Telecom, who's helped us out as well for some tyres and bits for the weekend. But, uh, and of course, the Sun Sport guys, just for setting this whole weekend up and a whole series. Really good fun. Well done. Thank you.
race winner and champion of the Golden Era Superbikes, Lee Reevely. You must be pleased with that trophy in your hand. Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, I like it here, and it's it's a good end to the season, uh, getting a win, um, and uh, still in the championship as well for the first year. So yeah, no, really, really pleased. Any sponsors you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank um, Team Scorpion this weekend, um, Andy Driver and Keith. They've um, helped me out. I've been struggling a little bit, and they've been pointing me in the right direction and giving me some mentoring. So uh, big thanks to Andy and Keith. Well, don't go anywhere, folks. We have a championship decider coming up next. The Dudes and Motorsports Super Twins, Mini Twins and Formula 400. Moped sports bikes, you save watts. Any bike, it makes no odds. We will give you what you need. Best price always guaranteed. Come to us and get a quote. You'll be singing note for note. Walk away with cash to spend on anything you want, my friend. Bike insurer. Get the cheapest bike insurance, guaranteed, only from the bike insurer. up alongside Jason Dixon on the grid. Green flag at the back of the grid means that we're ready to go racing, so keep an eye on the lights in the top left of your screen. They're on now, as soon as they go out, we're ready to go. Look like a decent start once again from Richard Blunt, who is able, yeah, look at that, he's just able. He's got so much more acceleration than uh, Suzuki. Not quite as much grunt, shall I say, as, as the Aprilias and the Ducatis out there, and certainly top speed-wise, it just loses out, but away from the lights every single time. This season, Blunt has been on it, but he's got some company there into Edwina's. That's Nick Williamson. Great move up the inside there from Williamson, and there's a bit of a moment further back. That's number 14, Andrew Saunders. Be a bit careful on the grass. It's quite slippery. Oh, 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 oh. And there he is, a newcomer with the orange bib. Number 14, Andrew Saunders on the Fast Bikes magazine. Kawasaki, rider from Timsbury. Just going up. For an off-track excursion, but it's Williamson that leads from Blunt. Lee Reevely, the champion in third. Craig Jeff fourth, John Deaton in fifth. There is Phil Page, regular Thundersport, a rider and a helper behind the scenes. Phil Page from Stockfold on the Duck Slayer Racing Kawasaki ZX7R. But it's Williamson that leads on the RP, RBM Optical Honda SP1. An interesting line there into Edwina's, and I think that might just allow uh, Richard Blunt on the Suzuki to close in. There's John Dieterman, who started the race in fourth place on the all-white Ducati 860. Williamson leads, taking a, a majorly defensive line going into Shaw's hairpin. He leads from Richard Blunt. So often this season, we've seen the man in third there, number 77, Lee Weekly, just start off, let his tyres warm up up to temperature and then three or four laps in he pounces but he's very difficult to catch that records well considering this was a new class at the start of the season have been destroyed by about three or four seconds since the last time we visited this circuit Lee Reevely the lap record holder there's been a change in the front though the Dave Blunt Suzuki of Richard Blunt has moved up into the lead ahead of Nick Williamson Lee Reevely still hovering there in third with Craig Jeff fourth on the Aprilia Melee and then John Deetham in fifth on the Ducati 860 and Lee Reevely he's going to make a move around the outside for second place there doesn't quite work out really tight line that Nick Williamson in second takes him to Shaw's hairpin it's uh, working out okay for him at the moment because it does mean that whoever's behind him has to do 
a bit more to try and get past, but as we go across the line, they remain the same at the front. These three just breaking away from Craig Jeff and John Dieterman at the moment, but it is Blunt that leads, or is it? No, another move up the inside there from Nick Williamson, and there's a change for fourth as well as Dieterman goes up the inside of Craig Jeff. Further back, that's Mick Everett, number five on the Suzuki, up ahead of Jason Dixon, and in fact, no, that's Jason Dixon there, so it must have been Andrew Duncan that had just gone through ahead of him. Yes, it is, Andrew Duncan has gone through. Back at the front, though, Nick Williamson, who could fight this for the lead, but Lee Reevely has put it in the fastest lap of the race, the champion in third there on the Aprilia. Across the line they go, and uh, they're all lapping in the low 55s at the moment, but here comes Lee Reevely, the champion, a four-time Thundersport GB champion, making his move now on Richard Blunt, and he's got the inside line, he won't be bullied out of that one. Lee Reevely moves up ahead of Richard Blunt now, Back around there, still Dieterman holding on to fourth ahead of Craig Jeff. So now Nick Williamson, oh, and there's a problem there. That's number 14 again, and that's the Fast Bikes magazine Kawasaki of Andrew Saunders. That's uh, well, he's obviously had a bit of a moment on the exit there. You can see the scraping going on, and he's okay, but his bike has just been left in the middle of the circuit, and he's in no man's land. So Riders just going to have to be a bit careful as they, well it's already been cleaned up, but such is the great work from the men and women in orange here, and Richard Blunt has got problems there. Richard Blunt has got major problems with his bike, he's slowed right down, so Blunt is out of this one, he was in third, he's now slowed right down, he's out of, he's in fifth place. What's happened to Richard Blunt? Massive problem for Richard somewhere on circuit, so that means we have a two-way fight for the lead again now. There's Mick Everett, a regular street fighter runner, but he's moved on to the Suzuki 750. But Lee Reevely, well he's wasted no time at all as he's got out front. Nick Williamson, can he hold on? Nick has really made a good account for himself in the early stages of this race, but he'll do well to catch up with Lee Reevely now in third. Well, moving up ahead of John Dieterman now. Craig Jeff looks like he's got his eyes set on a podium. Richard Blunt did come across the line at uh, that time around, but a lap time that's a good couple of seconds slower. So obviously Richard Blunt has run into some problems here in this race. Meanwhile, the number 77 E2E Solutions Aprilia Lee Reevely, the rider from Coventry, he won the Sound of Thunder Championship in the opening year, then won the Super Twin Championship twice. This year he's moved into the Golden Era Superbikes and has won that as well. He's certainly the most decorated Thundersport GB rider that in existence so far, and he's about to come up and put a lap on um, Andy Driver, and that looks like Brian Dovey just up ahead of him. There he goes around the outside of Driver into the S's. It's a fast part of the circuit there, but uh, the Aprilia Melee much more powerful than that MZ690 or Vandy Drivers. And around the outside now, is he going to make a move up into the bus stop? Cheeky stuff. Oh, blimey, he is as well. Lee Reevely um, up the inside of number 65, Brian Dovey into Devil Delbo. And this is um, that last time around, Lee Reevely. Lap record of 54.9. Last lap flag is out, and there's going to be no changing the win here. Lee Reevely has got a good two seconds over Nick Williamson in second. Richard Blunt went across the line that time around, up in fourth place. So we've lost John Dieterman somewhere. The Ducati 860 rider, who was fourth on the grid at the start of this race, has gone AWOL. So Dieterman out of it. Nevertheless, there's no stopping him. He's won the championship and he's going to win the final race of the year. Number 77, Lee Reevely exits the bus stop, turns the bike around, Devil El Devil's elbow, and across the line, taking the chicken flag, Reevely claims glory once more ahead of Nick Williamson, who was third in this year's championship. Craig Jeff third, Richard Blunt, the runner up of 2012, fourth ahead of Mick Everett, and Andrew Duncan takes sixth. And there are the happy campers on the podium. Lee Reevely, Nick Williamson on the left, and Craig Jeff on the right. First position and championship winner of the Golden Era Superbikes, Lee Reevely.
the second time you've been on the podium today. It must be brilliant for you. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's my local circuit and we have a lot of friends and family come, so it's nice to put on a show. And uh, I've got a goal with my times and we hit that despite it getting a bit cold. So I've been really pleased. Really good racing. Good close racing the second one to begin with. So yeah, all good. And we hope to see you back in this championship next year. Yeah, we're coming back next year. Hopefully uh, more the merrier and we'll have some good, good old fighting like we had this year. Good stuff. Brilliant. Any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, everybody who's helped me this year. Uh, Eatery Solutions, uh, Motocourse, uh, Griff at Aprilla Performance, and I want to thank uh, Team Scorpion for their support this year, Andy Driver and Keith, who's given me a lot of um, help with setup and uh, guidance and mentoring. Well done on your wins.